This video is sponsored by the boys over at Squarespace. Thank you for keeping the lights on. All right, so I like to think of fashion kind of like cooking because you kind of have your good combos that set a foundation and then you can kind of just build different recipes on top of it, right? Does that make sense? Like if I'm comboing bread with cheese, always solid. Bread and cheese, you can go with any genre of sandwich that you want and then you can build on it. Fish and rice, great combo for any every corner of the globe. Sometimes we even eat it raw, we're just going hard. You can build on top of it, great foundation. Or one of my favorites, just a tasteful amount of red wine and some crippling seasonal depression, you know? You know what? Fuck it. Just pour that whole bottle, man. Zach, We've stop. bottled Zach, enough stop. this year. You're just just pour Zach. all of it. Just get it all there. But with clothes, it's the same way, or at least the way I see it. If you have good combos that set a great foundation, you can build pretty much anything you want on top of it. Like having a good basic top and bottom combo that you can always resort to, and then just just build cool pieces that layer on top of it. You, you can even start accessorizing if you wanna go really hard. It just set a foundation with a combo. And even if you do it in reverse and you find a cool complex fit that you like, if you break it down, you'll see that there are some good combinations of clothes at the foundation. And you'll see a lot of different looks have combos in common despite the difference in fashion subgenre. And so me being the nice guy that I am and the amount of wine that I just drank, I'm going to give you my top five favorite clothing combos that you can steal if you want and then just build your foundation on top of them. We've been through enough this year. It's time to time to let the sauce out. Because if you don't have the sauce, then you're lost. But mm -hmm. well, you, you can get, get lost, lost in the sauce. sauce. I'm sure these will help anyone out. As I stated before, these are just great combos to set a good foundation. And then you can build on top of it. And so starting with the first combo that I really like doing is the classic oversized tee and slim pants. All right, so the first combo I got here is oversized tee and slim fitting bottoms. This is my bread and butter. This is my fish and rice. This is my copious amount of wine and mental health issues. I've been doing this for years and I found a way to implement this combo for just every different style change I've ever had. You kind of just change what you pair it with because the magic lies in the contrasting proportions with the wide drapier fitted top and the slim long contrasting bottoms. It's just a cool visual paradigm, very pleasing aesthetically. And it's also, at the end of the day, just something you can fall back to when you're lazy. And you can do this with like multiple different genres of styles. Like here we got some vintage with a thrifted tee, slim bottoms, and some nice sneakers. Here we got some tech wear with just slim cargos. It's the same proportions, it's the same style of combo. And yeah, like I said, you can just dip your toes with this foundation and then just change it up to the flavor that you want. It's just the simple and super lazy formula to looking decent. And you don't have to look lame if you're just creative. And if you want to know how to be creative, just refer back to the intro when I almost died. And then the next combo on the list, we got the proportional opposite of the first one, which is a regular fitting tee and a more relaxed, long fitting pair of trousers. So I think this one's definitely more rewarding if you get your fitments right, because I feel like pants are like the hardest thing to get fitted right. I don't know if that's just me. Like for a shirt, I feel like you have a lot of wiggle room because if it fits big, it's just oversized. And like slim fitting pants, if they fit slim, they fit slim. But when you're trying to get a good pair of relaxed straight fit pants, there's a thin line between tastefully fitted and substitute teacher. You know what I mean? Like if something fits too wide or too long, you look like you smell like Bengay. I don't know what that's about, but you gotta figure out your fitment. But if you get your measurements right and you get a nice pair of pants that fit properly, you can just throw on a regular tee or whatever and then bam, it looks like you got your together, which you do. Like these guys look like substitute teachers and these guys look like they have anxiety and hang out at Soho. It's a thin line. You can dress it up or down. I think this is a great combo to start with if you wanna be more attentive towards the boring things like measurements or whatever. But hey man, it pays off. It pays off, these fits are great. So the great combo is a great pair of pants plus a great shirt equals a great fit. Just go figure out your measurements because that's what you really need to do here. And now I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Christian, it's cold outside now. It's the winter, it's almost fall. Oh baby, it's cold outside. Uh, shut up, I got you. All right, so this is definitely one of my favorite wintertime fall combos. Look at this, baby. What is that? Is that the hoodie and the bomber? It's like the reverse Yankee with no brim. Whoa! Hoodie with the bomber. It's just another lazy combo that you can look good with without trying, you know? Because I feel like sometimes the world's too cold for just the hoodie alone, and it's too cold for just the bomber alone. Puffer jackets are just one dimensional, and pea coats are just like. 
peacocks are just too much sometimes. You just gotta chill out with a good hoodie with the bomb. Whoa. It's just a good sweet spot that you can roll with because it's not only functional, not only does it look good, you can separate it for the times in the warmer months, like the spring and the summer when you just probably wanna wear one. So these things will last in your closet all year, as opposed to a winter coat that only comes out one fourth of the year. Same thing with a puffer jacket, it's like, when are you gonna need that? And also, back with that versatility and building on these combos, you can just take this style and then build it with whatever jacket or flavor you want. Hoodie with the bomber, go crazy. Hoodie with the fur, go stupid. Hoodie with the biker, go wild, go wild. Hoodie with the blazer, just go get it. It doesn't even matter. You know what, it. hoodie with the puffer. We're just going all in, it's so cold. You can crack open a cold one with this combo, but the cold does not have to crack you open. All right, cool, now that we got some cool timeless combos out the way, I got a cool new fresh contemporary one that you guys can try out if you're trying to switch up your wardrobe. So one of my favorites right now is just a nice solid whatever tee and some cargos. It's not that hard. It's fresh, a lot of people are on this. And a lot of people think that if you're gonna wear cargos like this, it leans into tech wear. Which, I mean, I get where you're coming from, but it doesn't have to be that way. Like I'm not necessarily a strap man like these guys either like i don't go on spec ops but i like mixing cargos with different types of aesthetics it just makes it more fun like this exact outfit is probably one of my favorites for no reason just a stupid like what is this i don't know i found this online and some nice slim cargos and my donks this is my go-to for whenever i'm doing anything remember when i lied to my friends sometimes i wear this like this exact outfit with some slim jeans it works just fine too but with some cargos you know what I mean? Like there's that extra little, now I can post this on Instagram and it's still kind of cool. And like I said about mixing it with aesthetics, look at these three different outfits that I have with the same type of combo. And it's like, you don't have to be tech wear. Even this one, look, I'm cold here. Sweatshirt time, baby. I think the main thing here is just finding the right pair of cargos that fits you. I feel like that's where people get lost and why people think cargos are boring and suck. It's because you're buying all these stupid packs on an H&M cargos that are boring and regular. It's like, Think of it like a cold brew, right? Like a good cold brew in the morning is good. It's solid any time of the day, actually. But a bad cold brew is just bean water. Stop wearing these stupid bean water cargos. That's your problem here. You're not looking for the good stuff. You're trying all these stupid bean water cargos. Stop wearing bean water cargos 2020. No bean water cargos 2020. And finding the right cargos. Cargos have been around forever. They're a contemporary flavor, they're modern, but people have been wearing vintage cargos since ever since, I don't know, man, go to the thrift store, army surplus store, you can even go on Grailed and find a bunch of old non-brand cargos that look cool and see if they fit you right. That's all that matters. Stop with this stupid bean water cargo stuff. No more bean water cargos. Bean water cargos, no bean water cargos 2020. And now coming up next, I think I was just really mad. I don't know. But now coming up next, we got uh, one of my favorite combos that I've been rolling with all the time. And that is, bam, my charming good old hoodie and shorts combo, which I think is underrated. I think you should try it out. So personally, I like doing this with a nice, bigger, baggy, comfy hoodie contrasted with some nice, slim profile, short, athletic shorts. And it's the same principle as the first combo with the contrasting proportions, just visually and aesthetically pleasing. I also like doing this little thing where I wear high socks, but I squish it down like this to just even further the, the visual thing with the proportions. It's just cozier. I don't know, I think that's what I'm going for. I see a lot of people do this with like pod shorts or cargo shorts, but you can switch it up. It's the same combo, just switching it up. But personally, I like these really short shorts. Like these are some Nike two-in-ones with the compression sticking out as another layer. I don't know what that's about. Maybe because I have ballerina legs, you know, look at that. Or maybe because I speed rope like a maniac. Look at me go, dude. I'm. Tell Sonic to pull up, I will beat his ass. But yeah, I, I wear this combo when I'm lounging. I wear this combo when I'm running errands. I wear this combo when I work out. I wear this combo when I'm skating. It doesn't even matter. It's my fallback for whatever. You can do whatever in this and you still kind of look presentable. Like this is somewhat fashionable at least. I know showing off your legs is kind of weird for a lot of people, but hey man, you just gotta have fun. You just gotta have fun with it sometimes, you know? And honestly, out of all these five, 90% of the time when I make an outfit for whatever, I'm using one of these combos. And honestly, I think it's good to have a foundation for whatever you're doing in life. So there's the takeaway from this. Like with cooking, 
music, skating, you want some good foundation. Making a website with integrated e-commerce tools, you want some good foundation. What was that last one? That sounded a lot like the sponsor of this video, Squarespace.com, the best place to make a website for absolutely anything with over hundreds of award-winning designer templates, you can make a website yours and customize to your liking. Personally, I just used it to do the launch for my other show, Recreo's first merch hoodie, where I made the entire interactive website. Look, it moves, it's dynamic, and I did it all in the website builder in like 30 minutes. And it looks good and it's functional because I used the Squarespace e-commerce integration to sell the hoodies. Everything is there, all the foundations are there. The combos, whatever you need, Squarespace got you if you're starting a brand, whatever, go get the bag. All you gotta do is go to squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic and you'll get 10% off your first order. Or if you just wanna try it out, you can get a free trial first. Great foundation, great combo, highly recommend. Squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. Thank you for keeping the lights on. So thank you for watching the video and hopefully you like those combos. Feel free to steal them and pretend they're yours. I don't care. I won't know who you are. Also, thank you to everyone that pulled up on the final Respect Women launch. We sold out in an hour, which was kind of overwhelming. And I was kind of mad because I was like, I should have made more, but hey man, it's done. That's archived now. What's done is done. Your order should be getting shipped out now and have fun with it, man. Thank you for coming along for the journey. It's been a wild ride doing this first brand. Big news coming soon though. But until then, I'm gonna go take a break. I drink a lot of wine. Just kind of a rough video.